accomplished U.S. players and, of course, coached by the great herself, Kara Lawson. Coached at Duke University and has guided the USA women's 3x3 teams in seven tournament championships since 2017. How you love that? You got to love that. That was Cash Mir. Soft touch from Van Lith. Tiana Clark gets her stuff swatted as Van Lith is locking in on the defensive end. She, man, she got that look in her eyes. Litha, Van Litha, rising star, junior guard at the University of Louisville. 3x3 is a different game. Harmon, that shot was not harmonious. Off the front iron it goes. Excuse me. I was trying to hold off that sneeze, but these things can't be controlled. <laughs> TC. Setting up KP. The layup was missed. Sierra Burdick will drop it off to Cox. Her turnaround, Jay, is good like grandma's cookies. It's 2 0 USA. We like football in America, but uh, not that kind of football here in Europe. Kickball violation. Two zip. Van Lith will open the possession. She's rocking the pigtails. And she's going to get it to Burdick. She lost the handle on it. Harmon will kick it. Faux two stepped on the line. They will turn it over. How about the road to gold for the USA? Uh, women who were the only American representative at the Olympic Games last summer. Shout out to them again. Gold medal Lish, <laughs> Alicia Gray, and Jackie Young, Steph Dolson uh, as Fotu gets the score on the inside. And Kelsey Plum. That was the quartet that won the historic gold for the women. The only team that they uh, they lost to was Japan. But an otherwise unscathed run to go for USA. They saw what the men did yesterday going 2-0. They'll try to do the same here day two. Burdick, she faked her like a bootlegger. 3-1. Nice shoulder fake to set up the J in the active defense from Burdick. Purcell, oh, brick construction. And a shot clock violation as the Americans lead. 3-1. New Zealand, they don't come in medal lists. Don't get, don't get it twisted. At the Asia Cup, they took uh, gold in 2018. They also, here in 2022, won the World Cup qualifier Asia, which I mentioned. Tiana Clark led the show with 4-2. And also silver medals in the 2015 FIBA 3x3 Oceania Championships. As that one rolls out. Clark, she's going to keep it alive. TC for two. No ma'am. Right back, though, they keep it alive. And Clark is able to put it up and in. Clark gets in front of Van Lith, but not in enough time. She's called for the block. All right, Van Lith, you can bank on her. 4-2. Clark going to the spin move, getting dizzy with it. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na. 4-3. Uh-oh, Van Lith back rimmed it. TC to Harmon. Harmon, she gives it back over to Clark. Tiana, no, Burdick will recover. Has it poked away? Burdick 
who also plays in the women's series. Seen her as a member of Force 10, 3X. They're doing some good things. Oh, nice. Ooh, Cox with the soft hands and puts it up and in. Foe, two. Cannot knock down the two. But it's recovered and put up and in. Oh, Burdick runs into a traffic jam. We got our first TV timeout in a 5 4 contest. 2 teams trying to make a good first impression here, day two. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. the voice in your ear. Okay. I'm having fun. Can you tell? Maybe too much fun sometimes. <laughs> uh, I love this game. This is the seventh edition of the World Cup, and uh, I've been covering these since 2016, so a lot of fun for me. Getting to see the most talented 3x3 teams in the world. Lays them up and go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Nobody in front of Purcell. She's in a rush to the cup, and she finishes with the layup, plus the foul. Take another look, makes the move on Cox, ball fake, and the Frito lay. And that one is going to trickle in. Back over to Van Lith. Van Lith gets our footing and is able to draw the foul. Van Lith led uh, Louisville to the Final Four this past season. Came up just short of uh, the national championship. A star on the rise, knocks down the free throw. Clark, no. Purcell, no. Jones tracks it down. Burdick open like a double click. She connects seven to six. Look at that scrum for the ball. Oh, they want it. Nice feed, Harmon, the former Olympian. She's going to get it to go. She played at the London uh, Olympics in basketball, did Harmon. And she's got the ball in hand right now. She's got that Wilson. Is she going to put the round thing in the round thing? No, she turns around and passes it out to Purcell. And she airmails that one right out of bounds. Take another look at the feed to Harmon. Good recognition there from Purcell. Pull up Jamie, please. Haley Van Lith. She's wet, and it's 9-7. Clark couldn't track it down. Nice feed from Burdick to Cox. Mishandled for a moment. See the foul on foe two. And the stroke from Cox at the line. Baseline, Clark. Makes the move, up fake. She's got an open shooter. Harmon, string music. Far black.
Van Lith surveying, getting it to Burdick. Burdick drop step, nowhere to go, but over to Van Lith. She forces up a shot, not happening. Quick feed, but that goes off the big toe of Harmon. Here's Burdick, who played uh, for the Seattle Storm last season. Uh, woman down. Burdick couldn't make it count, though. Purcell. She's going to the block. She's hacked. So Kalani will shoot one at the line. Purcell with uh, 15 international caps, and she was a member of that 2018 gold medal uh, Asia Cup squad. Now she's trying to harass Van Lith. Van Lith puts it up, and the lefty couldn't make it. Now can she defend Purcell in the post? She doesn't have to, because Purcell kicks it out. She said, girl, bye. Van Lith. Oh, she gets her cookies took. And then Clark trying to give her a two-piece. No, she does not, and misses the floater, too. Quick kick out. Van Lith spins free. She's fouled. That's number five on the Tall Ferns. I think New Zealand's a country of just five million. But they have a love for this game at 3x3. They're hanging in here with the mighty USA. 11-9, verdict. Give me that. Oh, but they turn it back over. So back come the New Zealanders. So here we go. It's uh, USA is playing a pretty clean game. Not only leading by two, but only two fouls committed. We're under four minutes, so that's why we have a break in the action with a TV timeout. These two teams have never met in an international 3x3 competition. These two countries, I should clarify. It's a 10-minute sprint to 21. This game will make you lose your breath. Figuratively and literally. Literally, if you're a player. If you transition from 5-on-5 five five to 3x3, it's like Fran Fraschilla says, it's like a 3x3 game is like uh, Five minutes left in the fourth quarter of a five-on-five -five game, every possession is key. Every possession requires a sense of urgency, but we do it for 10 minutes straight. That's why this thing is so intense. Jones, she makes the move, but the stroke was broke. Cox, short range, same thing. USA's lead at just one, faux two. Rockin', that's ironic, her last name is faux two, and she wears the number 42. Oh, Purcell. <laughs> Cox from the corner. That comes up abbreviated. And a foul underneath. I believe that is on the Americans. Yes, indeed. Foe two. Gets it over to Tiana Clark. That's her partner in crime. They like salt and pepper. Nice duo. Uh, not a nice shot. Had to get it up late in the shot clock. It touches nothing. 
USA will make a substitution. Is looks like Jones is out, so they'll go with Burdick, Cox, and Van Lith. There's Burdick, the 28-year-old, will kick it. Cox way off in the deep end, like usual. Splashes it 13-10. Clark with the move. Oh, wow. nice idea on the dime. But uh, you got to have somebody there to catch it. Nobody home, so USA will take back over. The 2019 U18 gold medalist Van Lith will start the possession. She will get it back. Van Lith open. And it ain't that windy. Air balls it. Harmon. She uh, puts the cookie in the cup. Van Lith will get another opportunity here. This time start from the top of the key. Behind the back move. Lefty hook. Uh-uh. Jones. Point blank range. She puts it down. Americans assume a three-point advantage here. It's just over two minutes to go. We call it crunch time. Abdomen. We'll see if the USA can hold off the Kiwis. See that flag of New Zealand flying? See a lot of Americans in the audience as well. There's Harmon. Harmon keeping New Zealand within striking distance. A five-point difference, uh, a, a five-point difference, a two-point difference uh, certainly is a manageable situation. But even a five-point game in 3x3 with as many possessions as you get with 12-second shot clocks is still manageable. That's an offensive foul. O2 whistle. Vincent Royer on the mic. DJ Last on the spins. Van Litt. Tough shot. Missed it. Purcell, great positioning on Burdick, and she's going to put it up in the end. New Zealand ain't going nowhere. Like some company that wears out they welcome. <laughs> they, oh, get that out. Purcell threw it away. And they'll reset 4-2, fo 4-2. Two, fo two. It's a no-go. Harmon, he's working on Burdick, gets it back. The Olympian gets it back over to 4-2, fo 4-2. Two, fo two. Burdick, oh, that pass. Slightly off target and out of bounds. So we got a close one, don't we? For you 3x3 historians, you think back to that 2012 gold medal team that the USA brought. And it was led by future WNBA All-Star, Skylar Diggins-Smith, remember? Rhea Hartley, uh, Janae Og Ogun Mike, remember her? Yeah, USA won uh, both thrillers by one point, 2012-2014. Can they get back to where they were eight years ago? United States have five medals, three gold. The men have one of those golds. The women have two. The others are silvers. Tiana Clark with the moves. Nowhere to go. Here's Burdick. Oh, it was almost dime time. Burdick puts one up. She's hacked. And she's going to shoot two. Seventh foul on the Kiwis. So a couple of big free throws for the wnba -er and Force 10 member on the women's series, 3x3 vet, and of course, World Cup gold medalist trying to get two for the first time ever. 
She gets the first of two free throws. USA lead it by a count of 15 to 13. We're under one minute to play. And she's money at the line. Van Lith going to work from the right wing. Fires the J, missed it. Purcell will kick it out. Harmon, she's been doing some damage in this game. Faux two is yet to get that two to fall. Oh, Faker finishes with the lay. It's a one possession game. 27 ticks left. And when you when you represent the United States, there's always going to be a big bullseye on your back. A newly constructed team. They have to deal with the pressure that comes with having USA across their chest. Nice move from Harmon. And she streaks to the cup and finishes with the lay-in. This one's far from over. USA with a two-point advantage, but they do have possession. And Haley Van Lith, she will open up the possession. She gets the cookie back. She swings the Wilson to Cox. That ball boomerangs back to Cox. Burdick will feed her on the way to the cup. Get your weight up. She does not care about little people. Cox at six foot four uses that frame and scores over Clark. No problem. Again, she really put on a show at the Red Bull USA Basketball Nationals this year in Springfield. And she's a number, number three WNBA draft pick, college superstar, and now she's becoming a 3x3 star in a 19-14 contest. Cox is out, so the smaller lineup for the Americans with just seven ticks to go and a comfortable five-point lead. Van Lith puts some, wants to put icing on the cake. Missed it, but they do not miss on their opportunity to get a win. The final, 19-14, USA over New Zealand as the Americans keep the good times rolling, picking up where the men left off yesterday who went undefeated. The ladies start off with a dub as well. Both of these teams, again, will be back in action as the day progresses. United States women will face off against Austria in pool B action. And New Zealand will lace them up against France. But that's that for this one. A five point win for the Americans. Haley Van Lith is standing by with Julian DeBuff. Here's what she's got to say about the Americans opening.